Hi, in today's Taekwondo lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a U-shaped block. The U-shaped block has a sole purpose of blocking a pole, a long stick or a bayonet. So with that weapon, they can attack you to the high section, to the low section, but with the U-shaped block, you can trap the weapon and then follow up with something else, for example, sweep the opponent or attack them. The block can be done in L stance and fixed stance most commonly, but can be done in walking stance, X stance and rear foot stance. But we'll show you in fixed stance. Now the technique uses the reverse knife hand to block with. Normally, a reverse knife hand is used for attacking with. And you take the thumb out of the way so that you can attack the target. But when you do the U-shaped block, the thumb is sticking out slightly because as you can see in the example before, the pole ended up between the thumb and the reverse knife hand. So this is the region you block with, but the thumb goes round the pole so that you can trap it. And your wrist will be bent slightly outwards as you do the block. The block will look like this. Notice that the lower arm has the elbow flush with the hip and it's completely horizontal with the palm facing up. The top hand will be with the palm facing down, also horizontal, so you've got to bend that elbow. But try not to bring it too high. I see that as a very common mistake, bringing the arm above the head. There is no need. You can just keep it beside the head like that. The hands need to line up. But if you're standing normally in fixed stance or even L stance, that top hand won't line up yeah? unless you straighten the arm, which is incorrect. You've got to keep that arm horizontal, bend the elbow so it's going to be just short. So the only way you get it to line up is to tilt forward. But you only need to tilt forward enough to get it to line up. I often see students bringing their head well forward, which is dangerous, bringing your face towards the opponent like that. Okay. The wrist will turn outward so you can expose the reverse knife hand. Normally you don't bend the wrists anyway when you do Taekwondo techniques, but in this case you need to, to expose the tool. Okay. You also need to do a circular motion at the beginning, like that, with the palms up, the starting position, neutral positions here, quite near your hip, and then you bring it back and forward in a straight line. Okay. When you go the other way, transfer the weight to the other foot, palms are slightly facing up, makes a circular motion and straight and it has to be very sharp at the end so you can get to the pole very quickly. Now, so there's not much to it, but it's a very awkward technique to do, so it requires a lot of practice. So here's an example of U-shaped block done in fixed stance, and it's done in a particular way, which is in uh, Chungguntu, because this movement is in pattern Chungguntu, which I'll be covering quite soon. So the purpose of the U-shaped block is to block or trap the pole. But there's a similar technique called the U-shaped grasp. It looks very similar, but the top hand is the other way around, upside down. And the purpose of this technique is to grab the pole so you can disarm the opponent. So as I said before, the U-shaped block done in fixed stance make up the last two movements of Chungguntu, which is a pattern I'll be covering very soon. So that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.